Observatories, libraries, and museums are buzzing this week, with eager eclipse gazers like Anne and Joel Bayou looking everywhere for eclipse glasses. And we got two pair, and then my sister wanted some, and my daughter wanted some. And that's the bad news. Stores everywhere are running out of the official NASA glasses. Dean Regis, nationally known astronomer and host of the PBS series Stargazers, has some ways to protect your eyes if you can't find NASA-approved glasses for the eclipse. Uh, but yeah, you take a box like this, put a hole in it. Uh... Regis says anyone can make a safe pinhole projector with a cardboard box. Let the light come through the hole onto the ground and watch the image on the ground. It should make a picture of the eclipse. Now, a lot of people are going to want to record the eclipse with their smartphone, perhaps to post it on Facebook. But experts say pointing your phone at the sun for several minutes might not be the best idea. So if you have your uh, camera phone pointed at the sun for long periods of time, it could damage the electronics inside of it. NASA says it's OK to snap a quick photo or two of the eclipse. But if you're shooting it for more than a few seconds, put a darkening filter or eclipse glasses over your phone's camera to prevent any possible sun burn in. Take the picture through the filter. That will help out a lot. When it comes to a $500 phone, Dean says better safe than sorry. 